What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. You got Brody and Sage for another financial breakdown. If you have not, this is the time. Go back. Watch us open 2021 Donruss Hobby. We're going downtown hunting. Go check out the video. You can see all the cards we pulled because we're about to tell you how well we did right now. Lead us into it, Sage. Yeah, it's part three because we opened four different hobby boxes throughout time started with 2023 2022 and now here we are 2021 part three don russ hobby downtown hunting so mm. there's levels to it did you know brody that look, look at these graphics you got going on right now <laughs> yes did you know that this. that the optic downtown has numbered downtowns in it not the ones we were opening but Maybe we should start hunting for a number downtown. What's on the screen here? It's a little small, but that's a one of one downtown of Jamar Chase in the optic. So I thought that was pretty cool. As I was doing some research for this video, I saw that there was numbers and I was like, oh, we could have gotten a number downtown. No, we couldn't have, but the optic boxes. So maybe next year mm. we'll do some optic downtown chases and get some optic mm. boxes because that's pretty cool. And uh, yes. So who are the big guys that we could hunt here? I put in three downtowns here. You got Jalen Hurts up. Wait, you got Justin Fields up there. You got Zach, no, sorry, Zach Wilson. Zach actually Wilson. one of the ones we're trying to hunt. That's an LOL, right? At the time, oh, okay. you were hunting him. And then yes. Jalen Waddle. So those are just three guys. Okay. And here's some analysis. And I put some of the, the big guys in here, too. It was uh, $319 for this box. And Jeez. the older boxes go up. And it's it's interesting. As the farther away it goes, the more, the less sealed product that there are. And the, bo the boxes just increase in price. The one thing that I was going to get your take on is this is a weird thing that people don't really talk about very much. And if you buy a just a single box on eBay, there's a was, chance. Yes. There's a chance yes. that the downtown was already ripped from that case. And, I think it's very high, Sage. I think it's and, very high. I think we did this a bad way. And we were hunting for a downtown with a zero percent chance to get a downtown. Yes. It's possible. And I just want to No, I think that's what we thoughts. were doing, Sage. Yes, I think we were idiots. I think going back, if we were going to do this, I think we should have just bought a a, a sealed case. <laughs> Of, ho of hobby boxes well you're guaranteed because... a downtown then it's just a matter of which one it is <laughs> well now i don't think you are guaranteed a downtown well if maybe you... one year maybe one year you're guaranteed a downtown but i think some people have open cases and not pulled a downtown before that's insane um, i want my money back on I that think, case if that's the if that's think, the truth i think i thought I, it was I, a case hit correct. meaning it's in the case but there's multiple case hits there's uh, multiple different types of cases. Yeah, hits. I thought you were guaranteed one case hit in the case for all the case hits. That was my understanding. I don't know. Comment below. Tell us. Yeah, Help I us. don't really know what the yeah the case hits is hard. All I'm saying though is let's just let's just think that me and you are in this situation where we're like, hey, we want to go and try to um, we we want to go and try to get a downtown right. So we go and buy a hobby box case. The third box we open out of the, let's say there's 12 in the case, third box we open, there's a downtown. What are we doing now? Yeah. We're selling each one of those boxes on eBay. Yeah. And you don't need to say, you don't need to say anything tip, technically, but uh, yeah, no. it's kind of messed up. You don't have up to say, to hey, this, yeah. this box has nothing good in it. <laughs> have fun. Yeah. So I think we're much better off buying them from um, like, my experience from boxes I've bought online so far, we've we've pulled some pretty good cards out of boxes bought from like the big retailers. Yes, because they don't have the time or energy to search and do the cases. Whereas if you buy it from Random Joe, and he just has his one case that he knows for a fact that right. Yeah, so so that's anyways, my thought moving um, forward. No more random Joe. Per we'll ne we'll never know Joe. for sure. We'll never know for sure. But maybe we weren't even. Oh, I know. Maybe we weren't even hunting for a downtown, unfortunately. Uh, but Jamar Chase, Micah Parsons, Kyle Pitts, Jalen Waddle, 
And then here's some quarterbacks for you that we were hunting for. Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson. Yeah, not a good year. LOL, Jeez. Fields, Lance, Trey Lance, that's Trey Lance, and Mac Jones. Well, at the time, Zach Wilson, Justin Fields, Trey Lance. Well, yeah, had, obviously at the all time. All five sure. of these guys, this was people were saying yes. this is the best quarterbacks class of all time. But I'm saying now that we have the years on us, looking sure. back at it, Tr- Trevor Lawrence is really the only good one And he's out of still it. kind I mean, of a bust. Fields, he's not amazing. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Now, there was a Dallas Cowboys fan that reached out to me and told me that they should have Dak Prescott play the entire regular season and then put Trey Lance in, in the playoffs <laughs> and they would win a Super Bowl. It's so, not... We'll have to wait to see. Maybe that is their strategy next year, and Trey Lance walks away with a Super Bowl. It can't be. And all of a sudden, he's massive. <laughs> it can't be worse, and it can't be unproven that that's not a good strategy. So I guess we'll see. Yeah. Can't um, say you, you can't do it. All right. So we got some babs here, but I called these the little babs because they're very little. Uh, you got the Aaron Donald aqueous test. And do you know about this aqueous test? I'm wondering, did we blunder by taking the photo on the back? No, no, Should no, no, no. Ma- that was very purposeful. I was searching all the aqueous tests on eBay, and all of the lead photos came on the back because the front, you can't tell. It's the same, yeah. So Okay, I was wondering. I, I was shocked. I thought this was going to go for way more than $4. No, the way that everybody that right sells now. these on eBay, because you cannot tell. Remember, we opened the whole box and had no idea. So I had to go back. I went back because people in the comments were saying, hey, did yes. you check any of these things? So when you yeah. sell it, everybody was listing with the back on the front because of the Makes aqueous sense. test across. So I was Makes like, sense. I'll do the same thing. <laughs> and then it sells for $4. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe those things just yeah. aren't that actually but like. Did you hear the desirable. story behind it? Like, I don't know the story. Like, it wasn't ever supposed to be released. Someone was, I saw something in the comments talking about how like uh, it was supposed to like it's supposed to test to see if it's waterproof or something right or something yeah. like well, that tell us in the Weird. comments if you know what's up with these aqueous tests but um, yeah. i heard like it was the, never supposed to be released so well, we, got, we got one so that was cool at yeah least. so we got two guys numbered uh a linebacker and uh you know this guy nick bolton had a pick six a couple super bowls ago, ago against jalen hurt so he was he he became popular during that Super Bowl, but uh, 425 is not much. And then, uh, and then you got Luke I mean, Farrell. I don't know much about him, but that's a pretty cool card to 89. Somebody got a deal, but may- I don't know anything about him anymore. Maybe do you he's out think of the he league. did get a deal? Yeah, I was going to say. Do you think he did get a deal? Because, like to me, 175. That's like, I mean, you can get a paper. You can get a paper rookie for like two bucks at least. So. Yeah out of 89 he's got to not be in the league yeah maybe he's in he has to not maybe be in the he's league out of the league sure. he might not have even made a roster i mean he's wearing shorts right now that's never <laughs> a good sign but i think i remember him on the jags but i don't know i thought so too but yeah. i don't know yeah all right well anyways uh second year qb we got a we got a good second year QB in this box. It was Joe Burrow numbered to 65. I got the zoom in up there. It sold for 10 bucks. It's just a little bad luck that he was down because he got injured for the second half of the year. We sold him for 10 bucks. Mm-hmm. Burrow's a little bit down right now. But um, that was a good card for us. If he was if he was still hot like Purdy, this would have been a, a great dollar card, but 10 bucks for uh, Burrow. Do, do people ever in the eBay titles, do they ever put like second year in the actual title? Yes. Second year card. Okay. Yep. I've seen that in the title. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Because um, it's hard for me to obviously know like if someone's what second year it is, but whatever. Yeah. The long haired Jack's QB. <laughs> so here they are. They're hugging it out here in the right. The two <laughs> long haired Jack's QBs and, uh, you Are know, we getting copyright for using these Getty images? Did you get I did you get, get this license here, Sage? I put the credit on there. Do you need to blur this out? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We might we we might not have a channel next week, folks. <laughs> I Sage tried, over here using illegal illegal photos. <laughs> I tried to put the credit on there. I thought that was good then because I wasn't stealing credit. Yeah, maybe. Uh, we'll we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. I'll let you know. Mark, we get a Mike Carlson, thank you for the picture, bud. 
There uh, you go. Uh, but I was super happy with uh, 2450. And I wanted to say we sold all these cards. Sometimes we guess how much they're going to go for, but uh, we've already sold these cards. So we know the exact comps right now. So you're getting hardcore actual analysis, no guessing here. And um, I wanted to tell you something about if you sell a card just over $20, your shipment, your shipping fees go up to $4, whereas just under $20 at $19, your shipping fee is 60 cents. So there's a window here that from 20 to $24 where you lose money the more it goes up because you're required to pay that $4 in shipping. Mm. So there's a, there's a break even right around $24. And this was just above that. So anyways, Mm. it's kind of a little funny thing with eBay about to. I didn't even realize that was the number one card either. Um, Yeah. I think when I was opening that, I didn't really realize that the first card, uh, first number card actually was a thing too. So yeah, when it's down to 10, it feels like it's less impressive, but yeah, I didn't realize either, but I tried to get it in the, and maybe that's why it no, went for 24. There. Maybe that's why it was yeah, a little it might, bit higher. Because it's the first one, probably, yeah. There's a, it's a one. I mean, Minshew Maniacs. Yeah. People love Minshew. I mean, he's a good guy. I mean, he's, he's good. got a He's got a following. Oh, this card. Okay, this card. Uh, it's, still, it's still sitting with me right now because it did not get paid. So we sold it for $47 to a ghost. He had no feedback. And... Um, But this card was funny. Every card we have has a little story. This card has a little Mm -hmm. unique story too because we pulled it and it was like our third Randy Moss of the box. And we were just like, this is our Moss box. And we stopped. We put it up on the thing. And then I guess we're going through. And at the very end, right before- I wanted to see if it was player worn. Yeah. And you said, hey, check at the back to see if it's player worn. And I was Mm -hmm. like, okay, yeah, like- Sure, we'll check it. It's 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 a good question. Doesn't really matter too much to me, but it's a good question. We flip it over, and sure enough, we see Justin Jefferson. If you weren't c- curious about that, we might have ended the video without it. So, yeah, this card is way better. Unfortunately, it's not Jefferson's rookie year, but uh, it's out of one ninety nine, and uh, we sold it to a ghost for forty seven dollars. So I'm gonna still consider it the comp of forty seven dollars, but. Um, yeah, we we would have just potentially missed seeing it, and then we would have gotten crushed in the comments for missing. Oh this. yeah, people would have let us have it for sure. <laughs> uh, and there are now we know passing passing the torch. That's, that's makes so both much sides. Now. But yeah, people yeah. were already putting in the comments because uh, they were typing at real time, like, "Hey, you got to check the back of that card." <laughs> but uh, thankfully, we found it. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of silly that. You can bid on something, win it, and then not pay. So one of the it's things, the stupidest thing ever. Yeah, one of the things is, is I can scan the bids, I guess, and look to see who has feedback. And if I see somebody with zero feedback, like I can just cancel their bid, deny. And you yeah, were telling me that strategy for like, if you're selling a really big card, like a CJ Stroud was going for like ten thousand dollars, but it was some guy with zero feedback right? Mm -hmm. You were telling me like they should cancel it. So I wasn't monitoring this closely, but you know, if things get over a certain amount, maybe I should look and see if they have zero feedback and just cancel the bid. Assuming. Yeah. It might not, might be a bad idea. It doesn't take much to get one feedback on eBay. Zero. I don't know. (laughs) I don't know. So here's the summary. $319 out the door. One wild video. It was fun. No downtown rig box. I don't know. You think it's a rig box? I mean, the more I'm thinking about it, the more we just had we we just had no shot buying <laughs> these boxes off of eBay. We just had no shot at buying this box was off. This guy had already pulled his down. He might have pulled two downtowns from this case <laughs> and just gave all the other boxes away. Yeah, and sad. Uh, so you got ten dollars here. It adds up the the ghost sale there i'm counting it bulk i say fight me because you know somebody probably in the comments is going to say 20 dollars bulk that's insane but you know fight me in the comments give me a better way to estimate bulk that's fine (laughs) i get to 125 dollars this was a this was an expensive box so it's a 70 percent loss and it makes sense that we would lose that because we know we are going for downtown or trevor lawrence or fields and after losing all this money, 
I guess my question for you is, do you want to go optic downtown hunter? <laughs> How do you feel? Well, you here's feel the thing. Here, here's the thing. First off, if you guys are still listening. Shout out to all the tadpoles, tadpoles. out there. Let's see the tadpole. Let's see the tadpole army coming out full yeah. force in the comments on this video. Uh, definitely like this video because the only thing that somewhat can salvage the 70% loss is the fact that we were somehow able to do two videos on this. <laughs> we were able to do the, the box opening and the financial review to somewhat try to recoup some of our losses. Yeah. Because uh, if our strategy was to, if, if, if we just decided to make a YouTube channel and our strategy was simply just a downtown hunt, <laughs> we would, we would be, we would be done. Our YouTube channel would be dead. Yes. We'd be absolutely dead by now. So uh, optic downtown hunting, I think we should buy a case of blasters. That sounds more fun to me. Like opening up a lot of like retail like that to me feels more like hunting than opening up a hobby box that has a couple packs in it. Yeah, that's just what I. That's how I feel. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. Also, me and Kelsey have opened two Don Russ Mega Boxes, and we've pulled one downtown. So do the math. Yeah. Yeah, those were not searched. That was not retail is king. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, next year when this comes out in the optic version of uh, Don Russ, I definitely want to do a hobby box from a fresh. No, we'll definitely place. no. These are fun. I want to do. I want to do the optic, and I want to do these as well. Yeah, I want to do both because they're still fun rips. Uh, you know, we just you just know going into it. I feel like when you open older boxes, it's it's a lot riskier. Yeah, like. It's a higher ceiling, right? Because some of these cards are just crazy, crazy, but they're a lot riskier because it's like, no, there's only a handful of people that are good where if you're opening new product, there's a lot of people that are still hopeful, right? There are people that still think Bryce Young is going to be an amazing quarterback in the NFL. Yes. So, um, yeah. yeah. But overall, it was fun. Yeah, I would just say fun. like the sports card world – is full of gamblers people willing to take chance to open up product mm -hmm. and see what they get when you're looking at older product what you're seeing there is like even the crazy risk takers won't even buy that thing all right it's like <laughs> 320 bucks and they're like no that's too much right and it's been sitting yeah. out there so like it's priced in to be an insane gamble whereas in the beginning of a product life cycle everybody's accessing it all at the same time. It's a normalish price, but right now you can go get this box out there. And even the crazy gamblers are like, no, I'm passing on that. So anyways, it was a fun yeah. journey, but uh, yeah, we, we still got one more part four coming up soon. So look, look for that video. Yeah. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe, drop a like on the video. All that is free. We appreciate all the support that you guys have shown the channel. Um, Obviously, you guys know we go as far as the cards take us and as far as you guys take us. And we're still we're still doing it. So uh, we'll see what happens next. Stay tuned and uh, keep ripping them packs.